It is small. It is flat. It has only a handful of habitants, yet there's interesting things on it. Let me show you today Ile de Sang. Here is its location, just off the west coast of Brittany. We had quite a bumpy ride, which is normal here, and let me tell you why. To get to Ile de Sang, you're obliged to pass the sea passage just over here, called Ras de Sang, Ras being passage in Breton language. Now this passage here is known for its strong currents and rough sea. You see this whole area here? This is called Plateau de Son, and it is just that, a plateau of very shallow waters, a lot of rocks and underwater barriers. It is almost impossible to navigate with anything bigger than kayak or a dinghy. So most of the boats are forced to pass through Ras de Son, and it is known to be not so gentle. Big ships are actually forbidden to pass here, so they have to go on the other side of the plateau. Now, once you pass these gates of hell, you arrive at this very particular island, Ile de Son. Island has a surface of only 0.58 kilometers, square kilometers. Basically, it is 1.8 kilometers long, and at its widest point only 500 meters wide. It is completely flat and it is home to around 248 people. It is quite evident that there is only one settlement on the island, this one. You can imagine the force and size of waves here, so walls are a must. And to prevent water from collecting on the inner side of the wall, they dug this canal, which lets the water drain back into the sea, keeping the road and the nearby gardens as dry as possible. One of the problems of the island is garbage disposal. You may think, once I get water and electricity, I have everything. Well, what about all the waste? If you don't manage it well, soon you will have an island that you can call Island of Garbage. That is why this small island has its own garbage collector, and garbage is taken from the island by ship every three months. The island has osmosis station which turns seawater into fresh water and then later on it's distributed throughout the island. However, water is very precious here. This sphinx here is work of nature actually. Small information, do not take stones with you to carry home as a memory. It might seem like a small piece, but it is a constructive piece of the small island. In front of us, as far as I can see, well actually 30 kilometers, is the Plateau de Son. The very end of it mark the safe way is one of Brittany's well-known lighthouses, Lighthouse of Ahmen. I promise a video dedicated only to lighthouses. On the island there is also a lighthouse named after the island and just next to it are the osmosis station and the generators that create electricity for the island.
What a view, huh? In the distance there, we can see Pont du Rhin, which actually looks like this. Plateau from above, just to make it clear, this is the western side of the island, facing open sea. So, interesting fact, on the 18th of June in 1940, General Charles de Gaulle called over radio from London French people to rise against the German occupation and to come to helping in fight against the occupator. Some say that this was the birth of the French resistance movement. Anywho, many people answer to the call that on Ile de Son, all men did. Every man, till the last one, sat in the boat to go and help the general. Notable gesture that was later honored with the Medal of French Resistance at the end of the war. And this monument that you see on the picture is for those men. Actually, the day that we visited the island was 18th of June. Hence all the flowers around the monument. Hey boy! How are your days here? Very good. Doing some cardio today. If anybody wondered, this is how the convenience store looks like on a small island. Church of the island. You just got to love these narrow streets between stone houses. A view from the distance. During high tide, this part of the island is separated by the sea, but now we can cross and walk around. It is very important to watch where you walk, since this bird is nesting here, so you may stop on their eggs. What we can see here is the mainland. You have to admit that this is a very particular place, definitely interesting to visit once in life. Enjoy this last view of the island and the boat ride back.